How to Design a Simple I-Beam in Stod Pro One of the capabilities of Stod Pro is to design individual structural members like a simple or simply supported I-Beam. Stay tuned as this video will guide you in the step-by-step -step procedure in designing I-Beam. But before we proceed, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated on upcoming videos. In this example, we will be designing an 11 meters I-Beam with superimposed dead load and a live load of 11 and 18 kN per meter respectively. The ultimate tensile strength of steel, Fu would be 415 MPa, and yield strength Fy, to be 275 MPa. To start with, open the Stod Pro program. Go to File, New. Tick Space, assign a file name and save to a specified folder. Select length and force units to use. Select add beam and click finish. The grid window will appear. Here you have the options to modify the grids in different view options. But this time we will consider the front view option. Click edit and adjust the right spacing into 11 and press OK. Click on 0 to 11 to add a line representation of the beam we are designing. Notice that this line had no design parameters and beam properties yet. To assign its properties, select the General tab and select Property. Go to Section Database. Here the section profiles of steel are available to choose from. Let us consider the British UC section as our initial section. Select one of the sections and press the Add button. Select a previously drawn line and tick, Assign to selected beams, and click Assign. Go to Support tab and create a pin support. Select the added support and click on the node's cursor. Highlight both edges of the line and select the created support to assign the support to selected nodes. Define loadings through Define Load and Definition tab and click New to define load cases of dead load, superimposed dead load and live load. Select each load case and add design loads accordingly. Self weight for dead load, uniformly distributed load of 11 kN per meter for superimposed dead load, and 18 kN for live load. Assign these loads to the beam we are designing.
Next is to define service and ultimate load combinations as shown on the screen. Go to the Analysis Print tab and select the Preprint tab, click the Define Command button, and add Problem Statistics and All button. Go to Analysis button and tick All in the Perform Analysis tab. Next is to select the Post Print tab and select the Define Commands button, select and add all the load cases. In the Post Print tab, you can control which result you wanted to show after the analysis. Let us select the Support Reactions and assign it to selected nodes. After setting these parameters, select the Design Steel tab and set the code to use on the drop-down lists. Click on Select Parameters button and select the available parameters to use in the design. Let's define FU, FY, Effective Length Factor and define each design parameter and assign it to the selected beam. Go to the command button and add check code to check the adequacy of the I-beam section we selected. You can add as many design commands accordingly depending on your requirement. But this time let us add the select command. This command will recommend the least weight of section based on the specification and the code we inputted if the initial section that we assigned fails. Always assign this command to the I-beam we are designing. To run, go to Analyze and view the output file. On the output view, the design results have been recorded. The support reactions that we previously defined in the post print is shown. Go to the steel design result to check whether our initially assigned beam was passed. Notice that the initially assigned section was failed. Scroll down to the next steel design result and you can see the least recommended section that is passing using the code and parameters that we define.
Go to mode, post processing, and OK to view the tabulation summary of the result, its reactions, displacement and shear, and moment diagram has been shown accordingly. What do you think about this video? Let us hear your thoughts and comment down below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.